and teaching the kettlebell swing, which is one of the most explosive movements uh, that you can perform. It teaches you how to absorb shock and redirect force. Um, outstanding movement to add to these programs. They can be, this exercise can be performed with the masses, and, uh, and you get a lot of people working through a uh, speed development program at once. Okay? With the kettlebell swing, um, there are two different camps, the hard style swing and more of a competition style swing. When we teach the competition style swing, we're simply going to reach down, slide our hands through the handle, middle of the finger, down the middle of the handle, and we're simply going to pick the bell up. Okay? Notice that my upper arm is in contact with my torso, lower arm is in contact with the hip. We're going to start off by just performing a pendulum movement. We're going to dip, slide back at the hips, dip at the knees, and stand up. That's all the pendulum is. Now as we get better at performing the pendulum, we can start driving the heels down and driving the kettlebell off the hips. Other arm comes into play, works the counterbalance. I can perform the swing thumb back, thumb up, but we want to wait for the upper arm, lower arm to come in contact with the body before we pull back at the hips into that pendulum movement. All right, so that is the competition style swing. The swing that I typically teach in speed development programs is the hard style two-handed swing. Incredibly easy to teach. It's a swing that you can use heavier weights to perform, and you can perform it for 20 to 30 seconds at a time, and it will gas you in that amount of time. The competition style swing is a very fluid movement. It's meant to be performed for longer time sets, and it crosses over extremely well to the clean to the snatch. Okay, so that's why we teach the competition style swing. But the hard style swing, the easiest way that I have found to teach the comfort for the hard style swing is to straddle the kettlebell with the heels in line with the bell. We're going to simply maintain a good posture, push the hips back, descend down, reaching for the handle of the bell, snip in, tighten the abs, drive the heels down. You should be able to wiggle your toes. And shin should be perpendicular to the ground. Hips back and drive the heels down and stand up, tightening the glutes up top. So after the students can perform good kettlebell deadlifts, that your arms are like ropes and hands like hooks. Okay, your arms are simply hanging. This is a hip dominant movement. Uh, very explosive. The arms should not come into play. Okay, so we're gonna push back. And now, short deadlifts. Your arms are loose, the kettlebell starts to swing on its own. Now we start driving the heels down, tightening the glutes, the quads, keeping the abs tight, the power breathing to it. Letting the kettlebell take you back as far as possible before you redirect force, driving the heels down and exploding the kettlebell up in front of you. Never relax until the kettlebell.